Hello and welcome to Golden Time. My name's Sam Cope and I'm the author of Charlie Changes Into A Chicken, Charlie Turns Into A T-Rex, and Charlie Morphs Into A Mammoth. And I'm going to read a little bit from Charlie Turns Into A T-Rex for you now. And um, he's Charlie's in a room with his friends and he's about to turn into an animal. And I'm not going to tell you which animal just yet. Electricity shot through him from his neurons to his fingertips. His body began folding in on itself, like a flower at night. He was changing and nothing was going to stop it this time. He was growing smaller, sprouting fur, feet turning into paws. There was a snout and claws. He had changed, but he had no idea what into. Flamey Nora, cried Wogan, still aiming the catapult at Charlie. Holy majoli, exclaimed Flora staring at him in astonishment. Oh, I'm going to puke, croaked Mosin. Mosin, don't be rude, said Flora. Yes, thought Charlie, don't be so rude. Oh, but it was so gross. Yes, it was, said Flora. It was disgusting to watch, but it's rude to point out. Guys, thought Charlie, I can still understand you, you know. I just can't believe my eyes, said Mosin, who just couldn't actually believe his eyes. You've really changed, Wogan, added, almost not believing it happened right there in front of him. I almost can't believe it happened right here in front of me. You did it, Charlie, said Flora triumphantly. Well done. She gave Charlie's fur a tentative rub and then wiped her hand on her dress. Yes, I know I've changed, thought Charlie, but can someone please tell me what exactly I've changed into? Okay, Charlie. It's time to change back before you start forgetting who you are, said Flora briskly. Meanwhile, she continued, looking at Wogan and Mosin, the important thing is not to startle Charlie in any way. You know, in case he, um... Flora left her sentence hanging, glancing at Charlie with a meaningful look on her face. No, I don't know. In case I what, thought Charlie. What am I? Any loud noise or sudden movements might mean he accidentally... A sudden knocking sound made everybody jump. Everything okay in there? shouted Charlie's mum through the bedroom door. Everything's fine, Mrs McGuffin, said Flora quickly. Charlie started panicking and attempted to scurry under the bed, but found to his dismay that he couldn't quite fit. Charlie's mum tried opening the door, but fortunately Flora had the foresight to jam it using a Lego model of the Millennium Falcon as a doorstop. Is this door stuck, kids? Can you let me in? Charlie's mum rattled the handle. Fumbling to put the catapult away, Wogan accidentally let go of the elastic. A small pebble shot from it and hit Charlie squarely on his furry backside. Charlie yelped in pain and without him even thinking about it, something sprayed out of him. Sprayed out of his furry backside. Something that smelled so vile so nose-bustingly disgusting that Flora, Mosin and Wogan immediately started retching. Charlie finally realised, too late by far, what animal he had changed into. Charlie was a skunk. And he had just blasted his room with maximum strength skunk spray from his bum. Oh, it's awful, gagged Wogan. I'm going to be sick. No, said Flora, holding her nose. You can't. If you do, oh my goodness, it smells so bad. If you do that, then Charlie's mum will... Oh God, I think I'm going to be sick. Mosin was desperately trying to open the window one-handed while covering his mouth and nose tightly with the other. He was looking very pale and trying not to vomit. Charlie shuffled round, not knowing what to do with himself. Should he hide? Would it be worse for his mum to come in and find Charlie missing or to come in and find him replaced with a skunk? What is going on in there? Charlie's mum asked. She tried pushing the door again, but fortunately the Millennium Falcon held. Nothing, Mrs McGuffin, said Flora. We're just playing a game. Well, can I just see what you're up to, please? Charlie's mum pushed the door harder. It cracked open a centimetre. No, shouted Wogan. It's a secret game. Charlie, what's going on in there? Charlie can't talk right now, shouted Flora. He's doing... A sponsored silence! A what? shouted Charlie's mum. Why are you all making strange noises? A sponsored? Flora swallowed, concentrating on not heaving. 
Silence. Holding her nose, she whispered to Charlie urgently, That would be a very good time to change back. Charlie closed his little skunk eyes and desperately tried to slow his breathing and think happy thoughts. But if you've ever desperately tried to calm yourself down, you'll know it's tough. Especially with the sound of your three best friends gagging and heaving and your mum banging on the door and about to discover you've changed into a skunk. Good grief, shouted Charlie's mum. What is that smell? Open this door immediately. Charlie could see his mum's nose poking round the door. He couldn't help it. He panicked and another blast of foul stench shot out of his bum glands. Flora looked like she might faint. Wogan, for some reason, had put Charlie's bin on his head in a vain attempt to protect himself from the smell. By the sounds he was making from inside, it wasn't working. Mostyn finally managed to push open the window and mustered the strength to reply, Really sorry, Mrs McGuffin, but Wogan just farted. Flora, Charlie the Skunk and Wogan, still with a bin on, all swung their heads towards Mosin. Farted? Flora hissed at Mosin in disbelief. Mosin shrugged. It was the first, oh, the first thing that came into my head. Wogan's farted, said Charlie's mum through the door. Good God, the boy needs to see a doctor. It's absolutely terrible. Yeah, sorry, Mrs McGuffin, said Wogan. I had... Take the bin off your head, Wogan, Flora whispered. She won't be able to hear you. Oh, yeah, said Wogan, taking the bin off his head. Sorry, Mrs. McGuffin. Oh, I had baked beans for lunch. And beans oh, for tea last night. Basically, I've been eating a load of beans recently. Dad calls me the human bum trumpet. A human bum what? said Charlie's mum. Bum trumpet. Well, I'm not coming in there with that smell, that's for sure. Tea is in 20 minutes, and one thing's for certain, I will not be cooking baked beans, Charlie's mum said. And open a window. In fact, open all the windows. It smells like you've got a skunk stashed in there. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.